What's up guys, Sky Kevin here. And today I wanted to go over all the aspects of base building in Last Oasis. I think it's important to limit resources and piece count when building as it can affect the weight and size of your overall packed bases. I'm always making videos like this one on Last Oasis and other MMOs, so don't forget to subscribe for more. When building a base in LO or any other MMO for that matter, every wall, every floor, and roof constitutes another piece to your total and a new aligned cost to what you're building. Because of this, the base that will be light enough and have a low enough piece count to fit in your side walker will always be the best. By keeping this in mind, it's important to keep things as efficient as possible. For example, if we look at a simple 2x2 building, we will have a total 4 floor tile area using 8 walls, 4 floors, and 4 roof pieces. This works out to a total building cost of 16 tiles for 4 tiles of floor area. You can think of the cost ratio as 16 to 4 or 4 to 1. Now, let's say we want to make our base larger. To do this, the best case is then to expand it to a 3x3. I'll explain a lot more on this later. With a 3x3, this gives 9 tiles of floor area and only takes 12 walls, 9 floors, and 9 roofs, which makes it a total building cost of 30 tiles for 9 floor area, or 30 to 9, which is a ratio of 3.33 to 1. As you can see, as we expand the base outwards, the cost of pieces for overall floor area will go down as we expand outwards, like a cube. This is always going to be the most efficient shape when building, and continues to become more efficient with diminishing returns as you expand from a 2x2 to a 3x3 to a 4x4, etc. A good example to show this difference is if you were to take a 2x6, which is an irregular shape. This has a total floor area of 12 squares, but uses 16 walls, 12 floors, and 12 roofs, making it a 40-12 or 3.33 ratio. If we were to take this and instead make the base a 3x4, it would have 14 walls, 12 floors, and 12 roofs, and thus a 38 to 12 ratio, or 3.12 to 1. In both cases, you have the same amount of floor area, but the other uses more materials and tiles to make the same kind of building. Now, admittedly, you might not care that your base has an extra two walls when it comes to the overall cost and size, but since we're building on a 3D plane, the cost goes up multiplicatively as you increase the number of floors. A lot of the time, wasted resources can simply be the matter of building up instead of outwards. For example, the previous building, which was a 2x6, if we were to then make that two floors high, would essentially double the wall count, bringing the total piece ratio to 5624 or 2.33. Conversely, if you take the 3x4 and double it, the ratio is a total piece count of 52 over 24 or 2.16. Essentially, the disparity will widen as you build the inefficient design taller as well. A lot of the time along with this inefficient design, as you do go taller, it often ends up being unused space and more of a luxury for people so that they have a little bit more headroom. What we can garner from this information is that building in perfect cubes is always going to lead to the most efficient use of space for the base that you're building. This, of course, gets a little complicated when you're building a base with multiple rooms or layers and internal walls. The golden rule is, once again, keep building in squares, depending on your need for the size of the room. For example, if we look at this base design, it uses a total of 50 tiles for the outer perimeter and gets a total floor area of 16 tiles. This 4x4, on the other hand, uses 48 pieces for the same exact amount of floor area. Now, once you split the area into different rooms, having more squares that fit into the overall floor plan will once again give you the most efficient use of internal space. This reason is important, of course, because chances are you're going to want to layer your base to make it stronger. When doing so, there's really two options for you. The first would be to simply put a layer of honeycomb around the outside of your base. This, however, becomes more and more costly as you increase the number of layers. To layer over top of a 2x2, you would then have to make a 3x3 and then 4x4, continuing. This obviously makes the piece cost increase exponentially. Alternatively, the second strategy would be to incorporate multiple rooms spread throughout the base. By decentralizing resources and storage and different crafting stations, it increases the overall layers of the base that an enemy might have to break into. Additionally, a feature of this strategy is that if someone does manage to break into a certain compartment, you have the ability to move resources between those areas while it is under attack. 
the key is to make the attackers use the highest amount of time and resources to break into your base. One aspect of this to keep in mind when using materials is that you always want the strongest material to be used for the outermost area of the base, costs permitted. The reason for this is A, it deters griefers from the ability to push into areas, causing you to have to constantly repair it, and B, it forces the attackers to commit to that entry point when pushing further into the base. An example of this would be that when they blow a hole in the side of your clay base, in order for them to get a saw or ballista in to shoot any of the chests inside, they might not have a proper angle and will be forced to spend more time and resources to open up other walls in other areas. Obviously, you want your entire base to be made out of the strongest material available to you. However, when that isn't the case, it's important to keep this in mind. Overall, by keeping the costs to your base low and always planning out your base before you start building it, your clanmates will thank you. As you get to building large mega bases with countless resources being used, these basic ideas will help you to cut costs and increase efficiency for everyone. I would always suggest drawing out a rough idea of what you're going to build beforehand to save on accidental walls and other mishaps during the process of building. I'm always making more videos like this one or LO and other MMOs, so don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you know someone in your clan or group that likes to build bases like a resource hog, make sure to tag them in this video. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.